Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Reaction and Review UK, round three of September month. So far, we've hung out with the Goonies, we went looking for the Holy Grail, so what are we up to this time? This time is another personal favourite of mine. We're taking a look at part one of Back to the Future. Seriously, I can't think of a single person who doesn't like this movie. But, is it a classic that still holds up? Or has it really phased out over time? Yeah, I apologise for that. So, let's find out. That mind, everybody, grab some to drink. It's time to kick back, turn on our flux capacitors, and go back to the future. That's funny. I always thought Michael J. Fox had a different band name. Love you too, Emma. <laughs> Nothing I can say that hasn't already been said. Really? Is that what counts as a, like a yobby thug back then? Hey boss, look! Guys wearing a jacket! That's kind of stupid, isn't it? What are you talking about, butthead? Boss, I'm just saying, you know, he's wearing a jacket. Yeah! A jacket? Shut up, you butthead! You're wearing them, stupid. Oh, way, Americans call pants trousers, don't they? Harrison in his senile years. What if Andy gets another dinosaur? I couldn't do that kind of rejection either. I guess George McFly loves the Cadbury. You know who you are. Fighting racism with racism. Hey, hey, listen, guys. I'm not going to make any comment about that. Just playing it safe here. Nothing I can say that hasn't already been said. It's just something I say whenever you hear a really quotable line in pop culture. It's just... Nothing I can say that hasn't already been said. So when I say that, you know what I mean. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. However, your grandkids are gonna hate it because they're all obsessed with something called Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah, it's as stupid as it sounds. They'll love it, but you're gonna fucking hate it. I'm just saying is all. Chocolate. I'm hungry, dude. Nothing I can say that hasn't already been said. I'll just let this little scene play out and then I'll get into it. And I better stop it there in case, you know, Warner Music are listening, but... So! That was Back to the Future. Alrighty then, let's get down to this. Uh, if you hear a beeping in the sound of my smoke alarms, I mean it's period or something, I don't know. Mr. Garrison, when did I find it to be a sexist statement? Well, I'm sorry, Wendy, I don't, I don't trust her and it bleeds for five days and doesn't die. Really, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Still a stupid movie. I might do that one day, so... 
Yeah, it's been about five. I'm getting sidetracked again. Stay focused. Alrighty then, back to the future. So if you hear a beeping, it's a smoke alarm. Okay, the story in itself is they, they don't write stories like this anymore. And I think it's easy to say that what, the style this movie has, no one kind of writes these stories in this kind of style. I like the whole, it shows Marty's life, you know, before he goes back in time, and you really kind of feel, you know, sorry for the kid because he has such a shitty life. And you throw in the whole, like, time machine complex, and you really get, you know, a sort of a look at what, what his parents were like, and that was pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, casting, I mean, Mario McFly, played by, uh, Michael J. Fox. I'm going to refer to them by their character names because it's just easier. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wake myself up a little bit. It's a sugar rush. I'm bouncing off the walls right now. I swear to God. But I'm going to try and stay focused. So if I'm, if I'm bouncing off the walls, I'm just... Mm. Okay, then. I mean, Mario McFly, played by Michael J. Fox. Shut the fuck up. Played by uh, Michael J. Fox. I mean, he really nailed it. I mean, there was another actor who was supposed to play Marty. But it really wouldn't have worked. I mean, I, the guy they got before, he was okay. But, you know, Michael J. Fox was the guy to play this role. And Marty was just a really likable kid. I mean, you know, we could all kind of relate to his situations and his you know, motivations to get his parents together. Pretty amusing. Um, Emmett Brown, the fucking show stealer. I mean, it's amazing how a character who gets killed near the beginning of the film can sort of go on to be one of the best characters. And he's just fucking insane. <laughs> you know? Although I think my second favourite character has to be Biff. I mean, Biff, shut the fuck up. Biff, <laughs> Biff is just... You know, he, 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 I know he's supposed to be the bad guy and you're supposed to hate him, but this guy is so fucking hilarious. And Thomas F. Wilson in himself, though, is a really good actor. And he's also a good voice actor now as well. I mean, I, I know for a fact he did um, Electro in Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions. Good game, by the way. But anyway, um, yeah, I really, really love the fuck out of this movie. Yeah, it's a timely story, but a lot of the nitpicks and complaints I meant, tend to have with the sequels, because Back to the Future kind of has this notorious problem where... The first movie, flawless. I mean, I really can't say a bad word about Back to the Future, but the problem with the sequels is it tends... Shut the fuck up. Tends to borrow too much from the first movie. I mean, sometimes there are scenes, you know, almost scene for scene, word for word, taken from the first movie, and it does show a little bit of creative, creative laziness. But I guess, you know, for some people, it's like, oh, cool, they're mirroring that scene. That's, that's kind of... They even kind of lampshade that with older Biff saying there's something awfully familiar about this. But the whole, like, time travel with a DeLorean, I mean, well, I've seen crazier time machines. I mean, I've seen, you know, TARDISes, a phone booth, a time-traveling toilet called the, t the TURDIS. Kudos if you get the joke. And it's even a hot tub time machine now, apparently, so shut the fuck up. Time machines can be what we ever want them to be now. <laughs> but DeLorean's still my favorite. Is there anything I would change to this movie? No, I mean... The movie's fine. I mean, it, I really can't have anything but nitpicks, if if I can have that, if I can have that at all, really. But yeah, I will say this is another movie that has passed the nostalgia test. It is really enjoyable, and again, it's one of those like I'm trying to see if I can be unbiased and say something negative, but I really can't think of anything negative about this, guys. But if you want to, you know, voice your opinions and say something, you know, either good or bad, you know, leave a comment. But if you've never seen this movie before, this is part of a DVD box set, so I haven't got the official like DVD case, but if you've never seen this movie before, go and find it. I mean, it's pretty cheap as chips now, depending on what you buy. If you buy the DVD by itself, you might find it for a bargain, but if you're sort of looking for like the ultimate DVD boxes, they come in like these ridiculous... Like, it comes, it comes in this fucking huge, like, box thing here. It's not mine, it's my brother's, so... Hey, Seamus Pug, I'm Engine Knight there. And, you know... You can also find it, like, maybe on Netflix. You can find it on Amazon really cheap. Or maybe you can find it on YouTube, even though you shouldn't. But what are you going to do, eh? But, again, past the nostalgia test. And arguably, so far, it's the best of the bunch out of the two movies we've seen so far. But it all could change with our next movie. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. Yeah, I'm going to stop it for that. Hopefully that fucking alarm shuts up. Uh, we've come to the end of another reaction. I'm really sorry if I've been a bit bouncy and off the walls, but... Caffeine, what can you say? So, <laughs> where were we? Ah, oh, yes! Uh, with that, we come to the end of another Reaction Review UK. I have been Random. Take care. And I'll see you all in the near future. Peace.
I'm on to you, you fucking smoke alarm. Oh, bye. See? This is what happens when you buy materials from Mitt Romney. <laughs>